we begin with telling you what mass communication is. What are the various... Dear viewer, today we will discuss about the municipal finance. As you know that uh, IGNO School of Extension and Development Studies has launched a postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development uh, since 2014. And in 2020, we, we have introduced uh, MA in Urban Studies. And, uh, the postgraduate diploma, all the courses of postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development are the first year courses of urban studies, MA in urban studies. So today in, in, in one of the course, uh, MEDS 043, we have a topic on uh, municipal finance. As you know that uh, India and most of the world has a decentralized form of, form of government. We have the center, the central government, we have the state government, and below it, it is the municipal government, or local self-government. In India, we have two separate form of uh, urban um, local bodies, one for the rural areas, another for the urban areas. For rural areas, we have the panchayati raj institutions, and for the urban areas, we have urban local bodies. They are municipal corporation, municipal council, and nagar panchayats. So the finance, uh, as far as functioning of the municipal bodies or urban local bodies, finance is very key. Because without finance, uh, it is very difficult to uh, conduct the activities of the municipal corporation and municipal council. So in most of the Kautalya has also stated that municipal finance, the financing is very important. It is the lifeblood of all activities. And Hicks also says the local bodies are to play any significant role in economic and social development. They must clearly have access to adequate finance. So finance is very, very important. And regular finance to the, um, the municipal corporation and uh, the municipal uh, municipality, municipal corporation, and uh, Nagar Panchayas will strengthen municipal, the hand of the municipal administration because ultimately the municipal administration, in order to conduct various type of developmental activities, they require finance. So finance is, is a smooth availability of the finance is critical for the better functioning of municipal administration. Second, the too much uh, what is happening that most of the municipal urban local bodies, whether it is municipal corporation, municipal council, and Nagar Panchayat, it is mostly municipal council and Nagar Panchayat, they are too much dependent on the uh, financial transfer from the central and the state government. Therefore, their autonomy is less. So, therefore, in order to empower, financially empower this municipality and municipal car, Nagar Panchayat, basically the two uh, lower level of uh, second and third level of urban local bodies, the finance is very, very important. And moreover, uh, on, under the 74th constitutional amendment, there is a provision and uh, the all the urban local bodies, they have been assigned 18 duties and responsibilities like urban housing, urban alleviation of urban poverty, urban waste management, slum upgradation. These are very, 17 duties and responsibilities has been assigned to these urban local bodies. In order to perform these uh, duties and responsibility, urban administration and urban local bodies require finance. So finance is also uh, very important in order to conduct all the activities. And moreover, the urban urban system, 
contributes near about 63 percent. The urban um, this uh, urban areas they contribute 63 percent to the, to our GDP. Because, uh, 35 percent of the people they live in urban areas, but if you see the contribution of the urban areas to the GDP, it is 63 percent, and it has been uh, estimated that by 2030 the contribution of urban areas to the GDP will increase to 75 percent. So, for the economic growth and development, the financing, uh, smooth financing to the urban local bodies is very, very important. Moreover, the government recently uh, has launched uh, this uh, smart city program because smart, in order to implement all the uh, activities being uh, specified by the smart city development, uh, they, they also require finance. And moreover, the disaster management. Many of the urban areas, sometimes they face uh, different kind of disaster. Nobody can uh, forget the Surat disaster. Even during time of the rainy season, uh, disaster in, you see, Mumbai and also in uh, Chennai, many, many cities they f face uh, different type of disaster. So, management of the disaster also is very, very important from uh, for, from the point of view of urban financing. Let us see what are the minimum sources of municipal, why we are called the municipal revenue. Because beside the these urban local bodies, state government and the central government also spend for the urban development activities. But here we are focusing the financing of the local self-government, that urban local bodies. The urban local bodies, first they get finance through intergovernmental transfer. It is the major sources of uh, revenue which the urban local bodies they got from the central government and state government. From the central government, they, the, the Central Finance Commission, as for the 15th Finance Commission, urban local bodies has been allotted 1.2 lakh crore of rupees during the period 2021 to 2026. So, 15th Finance Commission has allocated 1.2 lakh crore to the urban local bodies to be spent. And besides also State Finance Commission, the 74th Constitutional Amendment has a provision, has made the provision, all the state has to formulate a State Finance Commission. And the State Finance Commission look after the, uh, the financing health of the urban local bodies. So State Finance Corpora Corporation, uh, Finance Commission, they also give funds to the central government. So the major source of it, it has been estimated that 30 to 35 percent of the total revenue which uh, the urban local bodies collect, they, they are from their own sources through taxes, through fees, but rest 65 percent they got from the center and state government. So mostly the urban local bodies, primarily the uh, municipality and municipal corporation, mostly the um, third and fourth tier of urban local bodies, they, those who are less than one lakh population and 50,000 population, they mostly depend on the uh, intergovernmental transfer, that transfer of money from the center and state government. And besides that, urban local bodies also have their own taxes. The property tax is the major source of income to the urban local, to the municipal corporation and municipality. Besides, they also have the house, housing tax, then the, they impose motor vehicle tax, they impose toll tax, so different type of taxes they impose and they get uh, money from different type of, uh, the major tax is the property tax. And second, they also charge fee, fee, fees also, hospital fee, entertainment fee, advertisement fee, so these are different sources of fees which uh, the urban local bodies, they impose to get the revenue. The another, the four sources of revenue to the urban local bodies is municipal bond. Many a time in order to construct urban infrastructure only, it is the municipal bond are being sold for the, for the construction of the urban infrastructure, so for flyover in different uh, uh, urban metro, they can go for, they can raise the, uh, of course, state, and, but in order to, in the municipal areas, if they are, want some infrastructure development, many of the municipal, corp municipal corporation also raise bond, uh, municipal bond to raise revenue. And uh, municipal corporation of uh, Pune, and municipal corporation of Ahmedabad, they have also 
the municipal bond system. Even Bangalore, municipal corporation of Bangalore, they have they, re, they have raised um, fund through uh, municipal bonds. Besides that, also they uh, they have the sources of borrowings and loans. They can take loan from the central and state government and from the different type um, from from also non banking and fin financial institutions. They can take loan from the LIC, GIC. Then from the different type of sources, they can take the loan. And also developmental assistance. Many a time, the international agency like World Bank, Asian Development Bank, they also assist the municipal corporation. And many a time, corporate sector also give developmental assistance. Suppose uh, many of the corporate body, they can also finance for the opening of the hospital, opening of the school and colleges uh, in the under the municipality, and many a kind kind of welfare activity, they also give the fund. And the municipal corporation also they can the urban local body they can also have their municipal development fund. They can create a fund so that whenever there is a requirement, they can use those fund. For, uh, for for their developmental activities. And if you see, whenever we call the urban finances, urban finance is not for the uh, culmination of urban revenue and uh, urban expenditure. I just discussed about the what are different sources of urban revenue. And let us discuss some of something about municipal expenditure. You see, the major expenditure with the municipal corporation, uh, the ads, uh, one of the reports says, that near about 75% of the total expenditure they do in paying the salary and pension and uh, head of the employees, and the rest, uh, rest they spend on uh, the capital expenditure. So, and uh, the creation of the hospital, then uh, school, uh, schools, then road, energy, water supply, um, garden and open space, maintenance of the garden and open space, urban heritage site, and then uh, in other infrastructure, creation and maintenance of water bodies. So these are the various sources, these are the various type of expenditures which the urban local bodies, uh, they, they, they make uh, particularly, and most of their expenditure to be seen are in the head of the uh, paying the salary and uh, um, other kind of uh, uh, salary and pension. Therefore, they have to see that how much uh, money they have to spend for the capital expenditure, creation of the infrastructure, creation uh, um, good road facilities, traffic management, uh, electricity supply, waste management. They have to see, uh, see that how much balance they have to maintain in order to in order to have a judicious uh, urban expenditure system. So if, if you see that how they will manage uh, the municipal finance system, the municipal finance system management uh, include four, five steps. First is budgeting. Every municipal uh, urban local body, be the municipal corporation, municipal council, or municipal uh, Nagar Panchayat, they have, they have to prepare the budget. The budgeting is very, very important. So um, they, they have to see the, the, how much they have to spend in different areas, what is their main sources of revenue. So that is very, very, budgeting is very, very important. The feasibility, predictability, prioritization of resources are the main areas of uh, budgeting. Then after budgeting, they have to uh, they have to accounting, they have to keep the account to total account uh, income and expenditure of the municipality and uh, most of the most of the municipality has been suggested that they should go for the double entry accounting system. They, they every accounting system day to based is, has to be entered in the cash book and also the ledger book. So that there is a tally every day, there is tally and there is no uh, mm, there is no question of any kind of uh, financial uh, irregularities or financial uh, uh, kind of uh, mismanagement. So management includes the budgeting, then um, uh, accounting, and then auditing. Because there are two types of auditing that has been mo mostly so the One is financial auditing. Financial auditing done through internal auditing and also 
to uh, through external auditing the CAG and uh, the done by the the internal municip municipal administration by themselves and besides there is social auditing because many a time the developmental activities are for the benefits of the people so uh, the ward sabha has to be asked whether these kind of activities has been conducted by the municipality or not so auditing the social auditing is very very important with most of the time social auditing has not been given due emphasis emphasis in the auditing system so beside the financial auditing whether the money that has been given to the municipal corporation that has been or municipal council or nagar panchayat that has been properly spent or not so auditing social auditing is equally important Uh, are that of the financial audit, uh, financial auditing then financial reporting every municipal urban local bodies be the municipal corporation municipal council or nagar panchayat has to prepare the financial reporting because they have to prepare annual report uh, of their income and expenditure and uh, so that it will be put to the public general people has to there must be governors urban governor they should put to their there must be accountability there must be uh, they should follow all the rules and regulations the way they have to spend how the money they have get everything they have should be put before the public so that general public those who are in the municipal corporation and municipal council the people they can see that uh, reporting and uh, so consolidated information has to be given to the, all the stakeholders be the government or the, the fund if they have received the fund from the international agency or bilateral world bank or adp if they have received fund from the uh, uh, corporate agency and how much they have received from the state government from their own sources of revenue from the central government every accounting they have to prepare a report how much they have spent from which head and from which they have to give the accounting so the state government central government and developmental agency those who have funded to them and also the tax which people pay, ultimately people are paying the tax property tax house tax um, vehicle charge vehicle fee toll tax the people pay the tax they should know what how much money uh, has been spent for the welfare activities like education health sanitation drinking water uh, electricity they have to see because people also pay the electricity fee so they have they have the right to know so this is finance financial reporting these are the various steps that has to be followed for the financial management of the urban local bodies so the 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 main problem is that the municipal corporation most of the urban local bodies particularly the municipal corp council and uh, nagar panchayats they have the very privacy of fund because mostly they, they 80 to 90% of their fund they depends on the Uh, intergovernmental transfer mostly the small municipalities or nagar panchayats they depend on the central and state government transfer uh, they don't have very meager sources of uh, um, revenue as i told you because uh, what happened because with the administration of the gst after the gst the octree and uh, the entry tax that has been going to the state gst and cent gst so municipal corporation are losing a lot of Uh, they are revenue because of the gst and if you see one of the estimate it says that uh, the municipal corporation of uh, greater mumbai they 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 get uh, octree and, and entry tax 35% of their total uh, the revenue 35% of the total revenue of the municipal corporation of uh, greater mumbai a constitute from the uh, octree and entry tax who has gone to the gst therefore the their amount the gst from the they have the right to get the urban local bodies has the right to get uh, a revenue from the gst and estimated that it is it is said uh, some of the suggestion has gone that 20 to 25% of the gst has to uh, go to the local self government because we have the state gst and central gst we don't have the GST GST for the local self government because they they require revenue because they most of most of the urban development and activities depend on the uh, urban local body so they they must have uh, financial empowerment so GST they have the right to get some and many a time property tax are being evaded 
that is that is a great uh, which for which the underestimation of the property many a time uh, lead to greater uh, the their the, the own sources of revenue reduces and most of the time what is happening the urban local bodies being the closer to the people many a time they don't want to levy more of the taxes you see to the more, the urban local bodies are uh, have been empowered to levy near about 20 to 25 taxes and fees but uh, mostly they tax only 8 and uh, impose only 5 to 8 taxes that means rest of the taxes um, sources of taxes and fees they lose so they must uh, they must think how they have to strengthen their strengthen their own sources of revenue and so that they depend less on the central and state government because ultimately they are the local self government they have to be uh, financially uh, viable they should create their own sources of revenue so that they become self sufficient and self governed the entire motive of local self government will be failed if they are not financially empowered if they don't have their own sources strengthen their own sources of revenue then explore the generation of revenue in the capital market because you see uh, this except a few municipality as i give the gave gave the example of municipal corporation of uh, ahmedabad municipal corporation of uh, pune municipal corporation of bangalore many of the municipality small municipality they don't raise their income in the capital market so they should they should explore the possibility of selling the municipal bond they should see the how to raise the Mm, a fund through the capital market that is also very uh, mm, important another thing is that will they ha- they must have will power to raise the non tax revenue sources fees they have to see suppose in the municipal uh, municipal areas municipal corporation they tax uh, they charges many kind of fee like uh, you see license fee they um, driving license fee they have the entertainment fee they have, they charges many kind but they have to explore what are the other type of fee on non taxable sources of revenue they can raise from the public so that is that is very very important that is not happening therefore their own sources of revenue is reducing day by day so the more they say raise their own sources of revenue they will be more they will be most more strength then another thing is that there is no timely transfer of uh, fund from the center and state government to the urban local bodies the lo- most of the uh, as i told the 65% of the revenue they are getting from the intergovernmental transfer from the center and state government but most of the time uh, the center and state government they 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 they, del- uh, they um, they don't give the money to the transfer the money to the urban local bodies in time so because of delaying transfer of money from the center and state government to the urban local bodies their work is delayed so there must be a continuous and there must be a very regular transfer of a timely and regular transfer of fund from the central government center and state government to the um, to the uh, urban local bodies and another problem is that the under the the, the central uh, the 74th constitutional amendment has a provision of state finance commission the state finance commission deals with the financing of the local self government institution panchayati raj and urban local bodies so the state finance the state finance commission need to prepare its report in time and there there must be a proper coordination between the central finance commission and state finance commission if state finance commissions uh, submit their report in time to the central finance commission the central finance commission will go through what are the requirement of the state government uh, the municipal corporation what are the requirement of the uh, uh, urban local body accordingly they can have the judicious uh, um uh, judicial allocation of resources and if you see that out of 4.5 lakh crore given to the urban uh, to total uh, uh, to, to the local self government institution 4.5 lakh crore the central finance commission has allocated to the local self government institutions and out of 4.5 lakh uh, crore 1. 
टू लाख क्रोर इज गिविन ओनली टू द अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज एंड रेस्ट गोज टू द पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन यू सी द अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज द अर्बन एरियाज कंट्रीब्यूट नियर अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट टू द जी डी पी बट इफ यू सी द अलोकेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज दे गेट फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल फाइनेंस कमीशन अराउंड फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी परसेंट और फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो दे आर फॉर द अर्बन एरियाज आर द इंजिन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज नाउ अर्बनाइजेशन प्रोसेस इज गोइंग ऑन वेरी फास्ट सो अल्टीमेटली द एवरी गवर्नमेंट हैज रियलाइज वी दे आर डेवलपिंग बिकॉज डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैज ऑलरेडी एटी परसेंट ऑफ पीपल दे आर लिविंग इन द अर्बन एरियाज एंड ओनली द दर इज ए स्कोप ऑफ एवी अर्बनाइजेशन इन केस ऑफ आफ्रिकन कंट्रीज आफ्रिकन कंट्रीज दो आर मोस्टली द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज दे आर अर्बनाइजेशन प्रोसेस इज मच फास्टर एज इविन एज कंपेयर टू द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज सो दे आर फोर दे हैव टू सी ऑल दोज डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज हैज टू डेवलप ए मेकानिजम हाउ मच मनी हाउ मच फाइनेंस दे हैव टू स्पेंड फॉर द अर्बन डेवलपमेंट और अर्बन एरियाज पीपुल बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली अर्बन एरियाज आर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग ए लॉट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट टू द जी डी पी सो कंसिडरिंग द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द अर्बन एरियाज एंड अर्बन डेवलपमेंट द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन द फाइनेंशियल एम्पावरमेंट विथ फुल फ्रीडम मस्ट बी गिविन टू द अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज द फाइनेंस इज द की सो म्यूनिसिपल फाइनेंस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट अर्बन प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट थैंक थैंक यू वेरी मच